guys, welcome back to another week of Art Life. In this week's episode, we are in an exhibition called Fanfare, which is part of the charity Art for Cure, uh, supporting uh, breast cancer. So it is 100 artists exhibiting at the moment of sculptures and paintings, and we're gonna take you on a tour through the show and just soak up all of the beautiful artwork here today. Art for Cure started eight years ago. I had a diagnosis of breast cancer ten years ago and I came out of it so relieved to be alive and so I wanted to do something to give back to research. So I thought what am I going to do? Um, I don't have an art background but I love art and being in this amazing county of Suffolk everything really was on my doorstep so uh, I contacted people and we had 50 exhibitors here over a weekend and we raised a hundred thousand pounds and it was just amazing and so after that first exhibition I made the decision to register it as a national charity and it has just grown and this exhibition fanfare celebrates us raising a million pounds so it, it, it's just been a lovely story because I have had this incredible eight years of working with amazing friends. You know, that's really rewarding because a lot of charities have, you know, so many salaried people, you know, there are high costs. Yeah. So our small charity has enabled to raise this amazing figure in just seven exhibitions because we're all volunteers and we get sponsorship. And so we're very focused on the aftercare of people with breast cancer. Yeah. And so we fund counselling, we fund nutrition projects, we fund an amazing post-surgical exercise class. We've probably shown maybe a thousand different artists and sculptors over the exhibitions. I mean, I tout all around the country going to graduate shows and solo exhibitions, big art fairs. And it's really exciting because I go and visit them in their studio, I meet them, I kind of get under their skin a little bit about their art and why they paint and and you you form a very good relationship and we have so many loyal artists. A lot of people have gained a lot of confidence in buying sculpture, having bought their first piece from Art for Cure. Thank you. 
so exciting to see so many Suffolk artists that I didn't know about because really we've only just moved here a few months ago. Um, so seeing all these Suffolk based artists as I've been looking at the bios of artists in the catalogue brings me so much joy to know that there are my people here and I'm like here is a chance to get to meet more of them and maybe have more of a kind of relationship with Suffolk art than I've ever really wanted to before. So and there's amazing art here. It's not kind of I don't know what I was expecting, but definitely this art feels as though it's in, this is a London show. It's a kind of contemporary exhibition. It doesn't feel provincial or amateur. It's a professional exhibition um, and it fills me with inspiration. So Belinda has inspired me so much. I want to go back into the studio now and make more paintings and having this beautiful kind of spring English garden setting makes me realise that my art when it's sold goes into a domestic environment. It goes to somebody's home, to somebody's space. Um, it also wants, kind of makes me want to pick up my marble and my kind of sculpture tools and maybe do a little bit of sculpture which I haven't wanted to do for a while um, and that's the beauty of coming to an exhibition in a domestic environment not a kind of sterile gallery kind of space I feel like it's approachable that I've got to intimately look at these sculptures and feel like I can understand them and see them and view them and be inspired by them in a different way um, so was not expecting this today what an amazing way to spend an afternoon so I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the exhibition let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos touring art galleries and art shows please don't forget to like and subscribe I'll leave all the links below as well for fanfare and art for cure if you want to check out a little bit more about the wonderful work they're doing here and donate as well that would be even more magical um, so thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you next week bye guys